Hello friends, so we talk about the bar charts, Pareto charts, and pie charts. So let's get started. Uh, we want to compare the number of defects in day 1 and day 2. Four defect types are happen in two days, defect A, B, C, and defect D. So how can we compare the frequency of defects? If we want to display the cause of several categories, one useful graph is a bar chart. Uh, the type of device is shown on the horizontal axis. The frequencies of device is shown as a cause on the vertical axis. For example, the number of device C in day 1 is 58 whereas 65 in day 2 because the height of the bar indicates the count so we can compare the frequency of the defect at a glance for example in day 2 the defect A are clearly the most common issues and the defect D are the least common Often, we want to easily see which category occurs most or least frequently. A Pareto chart displays the bar chart. Uh, the Pareto chart displays the bars in order of decreasing frequency. The line, the line shown here in red, plus the cumulative, uh, cumulative frequency, each point represents the total frequency of each category plus the frequencies of all categories that came before it. A Pareto chart is a bar chart with the bars shorted in order of decreasing frequency. It is used to identify the most frequently, frequently occurring defects the most common causes of defects or the most frequent causes of customer complaints. A Pareto charts are particularly effective for data that classify complaints or defects. To illustrate, look at this Pareto chart of defects. Defect D has more defects than any other part by identifying categories that account for the most defects. A Pareto chart can help us identify the greatest opportunity for quality improvement. So here are two bar charts. Which of these charts is a Pareto? So let's review. We use bar charts to display the frequency of each category. Pareto charts show the categories in decreasing order of frequency. In general, we use bar charts and Pareto charts to illustrate the frequencies of category categorical data. Uh, we often collect data about process issues. For instance, we want to examine the free, uh, relative frequency of different types of issues across two days, for example, day 1 and day 2. The issues are classified in one of four categories, defect A, B, C, and defect D. Let's look at the bar chart of this data. The day 1 clearly has more defect D than day 2. However, there are more defects for day 1 in general, so it's hard to tell if the percentage of defect D in day 1 is higher than day 2. So how do we display the bar chart using a percentage scale rather than a, a, count, a, rather than a count scale? We can use a pie chart. A pie chart shows relationships of past to a whole. 
compare the slices of the pies for defect B, the day one appears to have nearly the same percentage of defect B as day two, as the day two pie charts are used when we need to display the relative frequency of categorical data. So let's review pie charts display categorical data. They display the proportion of each category relative to the whole. Thank you for the listening. In the next lesson, we talk about the histogram and dot plots.